Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new over here or Andre and you're watching Impressive Builders channel, so I'm here with just a little heads up for all those who are building and cast in their floor levels. Now guys if you look inside this this is a bedroom as you can see inside here there's a lot of stones there is no dirt what you're seeing right here is just some waste um, material from the rough casting of this room so it's just stones inside here guys and it needs a little bit more finer stones to full out inside here to the right level where it's supposed to be before casting now guys just giving you a, a quick heads up um, when you're casting your floor, there's a couple of important things that you need to know. Now, why I didn't put any steel inside this floor or any fabric mesh or BRC wire. It's the same thing. Um, it's because it is just stones. So, this is not going to sink, guys. This is, these stones are not going anywhere at all. So, that is the reason why I don't put any mesh or any steel inside this floor but if you're on clay or you're on sandy soil or dirt you know you're gonna need a brc wire or some people use steel inside it not as scarce in a decking steel up we're talking about we're talking about um spacing all the steels to protect the floor from from shrinkage or crack and stuff like that Especially persons that have a lot of trees around their building. You're going to need steels inside the floor or the BRC wire to prevent the floor from sinking or from cracks. So these are just stones. This is not going anywhere. No matter how long this is going to be here, this is not going anywhere because the very first moment this started to dump, it's just stone inside here. That is the reason why we don't put any mesh inside this place. But guys, if you are casting on a floor level like this, this is dirt and very few stones. After a while, this might shrink. So you're going to need BRC wire. If you look on your screen, you can see the BRC wire. Or some people use the rebar throughout the floor. Throughout the length and the width of the floor. It's not, they don't have to be that close, but those will prevent the floor from sinking or cracks. Especially if you have trees around, the roots will go under your floor and it cause crack even in your walls. So if you have trees close by your house guys, it is very important that you cut them down. You understand? To protect your floor, protect your walls protect the whole building so just a quick heads up guys if you are seeing an, an, an soil like this this is red dirt you're gonna need a brc wire or you can steal it steal it up but inside this room it's just stones and stones not gonna sink and if you think i'm lying guys check the, the ratio of the time that you are unhurt and you see the stones that are around you if you see them moving <laughs> it's just the soil that wash away from around the stones our manpower have to come and use sledge or other, other tools to remove those stones or machinery to burst those stones and remove them out of the way so guys there's no there's no debris underneath this floor, it's just stones. Big stones, smaller size stones. There's no debris such as tree branches, boards, stuff like that. None of that is in the floor guys. So and I ensure that I get rid of all those things. And it is very important that it's very important guys that you dump your floor level. Dump your floor and allow it to set. Allow the rain to fall on it. You can wet it with water so, so it's set and get that hardness. 
So the, by the time you are ready to cast it, it is already set. You understand? This is a veranda right here. And these, the stones inside here as well, guys, stones. So, as you can see right here, this is a sieve sand that we just throw in there and leave it. Let it stay there and set. This is the back filling in this ear around here, so we just throw back the dirt inside here and leave it. As you can see, it is raining right now, guys. So the rain is gonna set this and the walking and by working and moving about, you set this place. So by the time you're ready to cast it, you just put in a BRC wire or steal it and cast it. You understand? But for the part where it's just stones. I'm not gonna trouble that ear with any BRC wire. It's just it, you, you can put it inside here if you want to. You can put in your BRC wire just for safety purposes. If you don't want the stones alone in there, you understand. If you are afraid of it, you can put in a BRC wire in this and or steal it up just the same and cast it but we're not going to put any in this so as you can see we have a screed run gone out there so already guys i'm going to catch another screed over there so when you're ready and take out all these boards and stuff that is inside here take out all these stuff when we're going to cast this place so we're going to get some small fine stones to throw in those gaps and fill them out so you don't have no void in there. You understand? Everything just blending, refine, and then we cast it. This is not going to shrink. Stone is not going anywhere. But if you cast and clear, it's going to shrink after a while. If you cast and the dirt, it's going to shrink after a while. Just giving you guys a little update. Yeah. But it is very important that you put in a BRC wire in the flooring, guys. It's very important. As I said before, it prevents cracking, prevents shrinkage. You understand? So, sometimes I look in some houses, I see a big split right through the floor because of soil inconsistency or you have trees around the building. Sometimes I look on the walls in some buildings, you see some big cracks. You understand even if the foundation is not good it's gonna allow your floor to feel or your walls to feel so you want to ensure guys that they put in the right stuff some of you might say yes you should put it in here yeah it can go in there but as i said before this is not gonna sink so it is very imperative guys that you put in the necessary stuff so there are differences when doing floor levels, guys, different things. So you might see somebody casting their floor with stones like this, and you might say, and then how he doesn't put any steel or any BRC wire in it, or very, 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 It is not going anywhere, people. But if I see somebody casting on the dirt like this, it is not safe. So years down the line, the floor might drop. Unless then you can play with soft soil. That's why we put stones inside here. Straight stones. As you can see, different size stones to carry it up to the level where it's supposed to be. Then we just throw some finer ones on top of this to fill out the voids. So, persons might talk talking about debris and one bag of foolishness inside the floor. This is just stone. Look at it. Stones. So, you hear some person talking about the casting and covering up debris and one bag or something. It's, we are covering up stones, not debris. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm wondering if some people want to steal up the whole floor like you're casting a decking. If you want to do your own like that, fine. We're not going to cast a decking on the floor. You put a BRC way on it.